July. It's Saturday, that's how I remember. I forget exactly what day we're at. Um, but I've met with some friends from out of the country and it's been a long while. I haven't seen them for almost two years. So it was a very, like anything, I'm always excited to see people again. It was just heartwarming um, to meet up with friends from so afar and they're doing well. So are their kids and their grandkids. So it's always a blessing to see um, people in your life come back and uh, share a wonderful lunch. Now along the way we, you know, to chat, to catch up as to what was happening in our lives, um, to kind of, you know, segue into business a little bit, but it wasn't a business lunch. And so this family owned a uh, restaurant out of, uh, in South America. And because of the pandemic, they had to close uh, actually two of the restaurants, they had three. And it's always hard as a business owner when you have to make those kind of exit decisions when they're premature. But sometimes you take your losses and you take your capital and when the timing is right again, you start again because you still have enough seed money to do it. And that's always hard to know when to exit. And that's the same mindset that you should have too for investing in stocks and also in real estate is what is your exit strategy and you stick to it. So for example, Andrew and I also bought a investment property through auctions and auctions are always a, a bit of a, a higher risk. It's a mixed bag of things. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. In this scenario, the property itself was fine, but the adjacent building was an issue and because they're connected that the damages from the next door would eventually come over to ours and it would just be a continual fix and given the cost of labor and material has gone up selling this one back or putting it back on the market at a loss um, was actually better for us as a decision for what we can have access to to make this work it, or else we would be adding up another possibly twenty thousand dollars to the fix it cost to get the ARV that we want and even then we may just be breaking even but adding in a lot more risk and a lot more capital. So we took the money out, uh, sold it and took the loss. We're going to expense it. <laughs> and the other money that we have left will be spent on purchasing a new property or funding a, a new venture. So just food for thought for those of you who are looking into starting a real estate investing business or any business in general, uh, you got to have to sometimes bite the bullet and go through with your exit strategy and uh, be, be okay with it because these numbers are not small and for a lot of folks it, it is a little bit, you know, heart wrenching squeezes you a little bit, uh, but don't beat yourself up for it. Sometimes it's better to take a small loss than to lose everything by holding on to something stubbornly. So that's my tip for today. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.